What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and you're welcome! Wait, we can use the bugs here? Can we catch them? Do we even see them go? Oh, they're just gone! They're just gone! They just tunneled through the bottom of the world. <laughs> it's so weird that I can use the bugs here. It's like, why? What happened if I use them here? Well, now I'm just freaking curious as heck! Anyways, last episode, we just kind of did some miscellaneous stuff and the uh, Great Deku Tree and Kokiri Forest. So it's probably way too short of an episode. In this episode, we're here at the Happy Mash Shop. Happy Mash Shop, please read this song for. Uh, how should I. What should I make this guy? Oh boy, okay, I'm not gonna read all that. Hi, welcome to the Happy Mash Shop. We deal in masks that bring happiness to everyone. How would you like to be a happiness salesman? I'll lend you a mask. You sell a mask and bring the money back here. He almost has like, look at this weird chin thing. It almost looks like a beard or it's like stapled onto his face. If you want to read the fine print, take a look at the sign right over there. After you've sold all the masks, you'll be a become happy yourself. Have faith. Uh, a mask? Whoa, I was going so slow. A mask is a C button item. Set it to C and press C to wear it. If you talk to someone with a mask on, you might get a reaction. If anyone is interested in the mask, he or she will ask about it. Someone may want the mask. <laughs> I like how he just assumes people are going to ask to buy it. <laughs> Somewhere in the world, somebody is waiting for these masks. Just have faith. Well then, so it's the Keaton mask! Price 10 rupees. Keaton stuff is hot, hot, hot. Do you want to borrow the Keaton mask? What the heck is a Keaton? I don't freaking know. Kiet? Kiotion? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so. Uh, we can put on masks. And it actually takes the spot of where Zelda's letter was. So say goodbye to that. We just gotta toss that away. Who cares about freaking Zelda? Nobody. You know, she, she could be dead by now. We need to go. I hate foxes! Rude. What do you think? Yeah! What's your problem? What do you mean? I'm just wearing a mask. What's another dick bag for? Hey, kid! Can't you see we're busy? What the hell? I don't want to be a friend. Oh my god, this bearded man might like it. A mask. When I was a little kid, I wore masks around. What? You see, you can't imagine me doing that? Yeah, because your beard will push the mask out of the way. Do I have you talked to this running guy yet that has like a sack over it? A mask? When I was a little kid, I wore masks around. What? You say you can't imagine? Whoa. That's crazy. I don't. Whoa, that was weird. <laughs> so yeah, the whole point is. You get these masks, and then you go and find someone to sell it to. Oh, wait a minute, I'm not wearing the mask. Also, whenever you go through a loading screen, the mask comes off, it's kind of silly. Oh, that's the mask everyone was talking about. It's kind of strange. Um, yeah, so... You wear a mask, and Hyrule Field is in the freaking way. And it looks kind of cool. I mean, it's Star Fox. I, I mean, <laughs> not Star Fox. What am I talking about? <laughs> So, um, yeah, the point is you're supposed to take these masks and you're supposed to sell them and it's supposed to be like a little trading side quest thing that's totally supposed to make you feel like you're doing business and I'm a successful businessman. But, yeah. But if, we were, if you remember from quite a while ago, probably like 10 episodes ago, probably more than that actually, holy crap, might more like 15 probably, there was a, there was a guard here that uh, talked about wanting a mask for his child. Oh, that's the mask everyone was talking about. Stupid. Um, let's go over here. Uh, I guess it's a quickly go. Why not? Speeding, run at the speed of Pete Mask and Links and good lord, I'm like stuck against the wall. I die. Totally, I am. I totes my goats. Am. All right. <laughs> Oh, these ruddy guys. Yeah! Whoops, I didn't like a boss to yell at me. Really? For screaming? Thought maybe he would yell at you for just running around and not really doing much of anything. So yeah, there's this guard. Wait, let's see what he says without the mask. Just to give you guys a refresher. I wish I could go to the mask shop in town to buy a present for my kid. <sighs> Fine, here you go. Wahahaha! 
Waluigi! Do you think you're in disguise, Mr. Hero? Oh? Is that a key... something... character mask? I heard it's very popular recently. It's fake noob! No one's gonna understand a reference at all. <laughs> He's my boy's favorite! The, that key... something mask. If you don't mind... Uh, will you sell it to me? Heck yes! My boy will be very happy with this! You really are, Mr. Hero! Ha ha ha! Sold the 10 rupee mask for 15 rupees! You earned a little profit! Yay! Let's go to the mask shop and pay back the mask price of 10 rupees. Can you say anything else? My boy will be very happy with this! You really are, Mr. Hero! Ha ha ha! That's awesome. Okay! So yeah, as you see, we made a bit of profit from that. We won't always make profits, but that time we did. Um, I am a little bit concerned with the amount of rupees I have. That might be an issue. I don't know how much this next mask is. And it's so weird, like, look at my C button right- or, yeah, my C button, I guess. It's empty. The right one. Like, how often do you see that after, like, the first hour or so of the game? You don't. It's just like you have too many items, man. There's- you, there's no- point in taking them off because it's like what's the point of having an empty slot but at the same time it looks really like cool for some reason I guess because it's rare for you to see that it's like so interesting to me minus like the beginning of the game because you know it's like you expect all your stuff to be empty dude stop stopping all right so let's head back to Hyrule Castle Town I really wish you know this fence right there I really wish I was around the entire freaking river because there's been way too many times where I've fallen into the river and I would get so mad I get so mad, bro, you know, yo. You know, yo, bro, yo, brogurt. <laughs> Alright. That should help out quite a bit at 20 rupees. Could have gone to the other side and got another 20 rupees, but whatever. We have one more magic bean, but I don't think we could do anything with that for now. Perhaps someday. Someday over the rainbow. Alright, let's go in here. Ugh. <sighs> Oh, great. You sold it. Please pay back 10 rupees for the key mask now. Oh, God. Payment received. Alright, let's get the skull mask. A horn skull mask. A horny skull mask. That doesn't really look like horns. They just kind of look like pigs. <laughs> Do you want to borrow the skull mask? His voice has changed. I don't even freaking know. You borrow the skull mask! This, I'm not really sure who it goes to off the top of my head. So, one second, guys. Okay. That's totally not going to look like a cut to you because I'm an editing genius. Don't even ask about it, bro. <laughs> so, this skull mask actually goes to... To the Lost Woods, actually. Uh, I really wish there was a quick way to get there, but alas, there is no such thing. We gotta go the slow way. Uh, do you say anything else? Uh, oh, that everyone's like, looks kind of strange, so I guess his dialogue isn't that much different. Oh, yeah! Okay. So, this mask... Someone also talked about a mask before. In Kokiri Woods, or specifically the Lost Woods. Uh, where they said their face felt really bare. Naked, I think. <laughs> Something like that. What's that building right there? It's not the, that's not the castle, is it? No. The castle's like that way. What is that building right there? That's strange, but cool at the same time. Um, See, I never know whether or not to try cut right now. Do you guys care that I'm walking across Hyrule Field? Probably shouldn't, because let's be honest. I wish there was a fast way to cut across here. <laughs> it's such a long walk, but not really. Thankfully, all... Like, everything that I've pretty much done in this game so far, for realsies, have been in this, like, northeast corner of it, really. Like, that third of the map. We pretty much stayed exclusively in, except when exiting from, like, Lake Hylia on the bottom. In the southern portion of the map. Also, Lawlon Ranch is... Lawlon Ranch! <laughs> Not Lawlon Ranch. Uh, Lawlon Ranch is more towards the center, I suppose. But anyways, I guess that answers my question of whether or not I'm cutting or not. Because we're freaking here! Kind of. Somewhat. Uh, not really. Because we actually have to go talk. Why is there two loading screens there? Hmm. I guess maybe because the first one is like the Lost Woods. Instead of Kokiri Forest. Oh, no. 
What is to say anything about this mess? I see. We're gonna scare Mido with that. <gasps> can we? Oh my god, can we scare Mido? Where is Mido? Does Mido have a house? Whose house is this? Is this the Know It All Brothers? Yeah. Freaking Know It All Brothers. That actually looks pretty cool. That's totally maybe gonna be a screenshot for this episode, maybe. <laughs> Where is Mido's house? Oh, this is Mido's house, isn't it? Oh my good lord. Is he in here? Please be in here, Mido. <gasps> he is! Well, let's see what he says without the mask, first of all. Oh my good lord. That was a lot of text. If you're gonna look for Saria, she's in the Lost Woods as usual. Don't tell me you don't know where that is. The entrance is up on the cliff overlooking the village. I know where you'll get lost. Don't worry. You'll just end up back at the entrance. Hurt him. Why is he being helpful with me? I don't freaking know. If you're looking for sorry, What? No. They can't just tease me like that. What? The Kokiri child just can't say. You can, You should scare Mido with that mask. He didn't say that, but he said something like that. I see. You want to scare Mido with that mask, aren't you? Why does it let me? He doesn't even respond to the mask. What? Oh, that's a lot of lost potential, Nintendo. Whoa! I just mixed up the sentence so freaking bad. Even the word sentence. Blah, blah, blah. I need to do tongue exercises, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't know what I mean. It's okay. Ah oh, man, why? Why would they say that? And then I'll be able to scare a dude. <sighs> Was it you? It might have been you. Do you say anything about mask now? Hi, do you think my face is kind of plain? It's just not very unusual. Well, here you go. Watch out! Watch out for what, Navi? It's a sweet, innocent skull child. Hee <laughs> hee! Under that mask, are you just aren't you that Kokiri kid? No! Don't be where Donkey Donk. What gave it away? What gave it away? Is it my green tunic? <laughs> Quite an unusual mask you have there. <laughs> I like it. It may make me look a bit, a little bit tougher. Hey, why don't you give it to me? I guess so. Yowza! I'm gonna wear this all the time. You gave ten rupees for this twenty rupee mask. You lost money on that deal. Ah, uh, wah, 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 wah. Go back and pay the shop for twenty rupees. Uh, the difference will come out of your own pockets. And then he just disappears. And then you never see him again. That's kind of sad. I think that's. I don't think we see any more skull children in this entire game. It's so weird, skull children, because it's like, what is their, what is their purpose? Do they, why do they exist? I don't know. Do you know? You should, probably should know because I told you before. Just kidding. Maybe it's the people who have gotten lost. No, because they, people who get lost in the lost woods actually become skull childs or stall childs. So who are the skull children then? I don't know. Like these guys. These the people who get lost in Lost Woods apparently become these kid kids. These dead children things. <laughs> That's so strange to me. That's so dark, but the, yeah, who are the skull children then? It's a freaking mystery to everybody. I don't freaking know. Do you know yo bro? Leave a comment down below if you understand. Although I could probably just look it up on the wiki and if like when I'm editing this episode and remember this feature Chris. Maybe I'll think, oh yeah, I was totally going to look that up and then totally forgot about it. But I, I don't know, it depends if I saw an interest in it or not. Because by the time I edit this episode, I might not give two flying dog turds worth of poop. I don't know what that means. Poop? Poop! Tweet? Thank you. Holding the control stick back, I would really enjoy it if you just walk out. I like how those guys just sink into the soil. <laughs> I find that really humorous. Whoa. Bridge is really loud, then really quiet, then really loud again. Okay. So we're actually already halfway done this mask side quest, which actually I say say it like that. I mean we're only 14 minutes into the video. I hope this is not another 30 minute video. If this does start to get long, I'm gonna have to start cutting it. This is the only thing we're doing this episode. Though. Oh my god, I went through the floor. <laughs> uh, yay, glitches. Alright, let's go talk to the happy mask salesman. Happy mask salesman! Hmm, yes, indeed. Alright, let's go in here. Oh, great. You sold it. Please pay me back 20 rupees for the skull mask now. Payment received. And then now he's- Oh my god, what the heck is that? Spooky, scary skeletons. 
that's a sad mask. Look at see, see it right now, the mask? Now when it goes on the inside, it totally looks like that's the outside, doesn't it? It's not a freaking illusion, that's cool, I never noticed that until now. Borrowed, you borrowed a spooky, scary skeleton mask that's made of wood. Look at its icon, like, in the text right now. That's so weird. It's all rotted and such. Okay, so we actually got a hint for where we need to bring this mask as well. Do you guys remember? Do you? Do you? I'll see you guys back at Kakariko Village in a momento uno. Right after this loading screen transition. Go! And with a clever transition that I hope worked, otherwise this is awkward because it didn't work. Uh, we're back at Kakariko Village! So... Who could possibly want this mask here, you might be asking? Well, let's put it on and go talk to some- Oh no! I'm totally gonna see if I can get rid of all my slots, but when I put it on the left, it totally just pushed the beans to the right slot. That was oh no, I, did I want to put the mask on and talk to you. Yeah! Oh, I get it. He was geek screaming because of the mask. I get it. I thought that was just his natural text if you talked to him without the mask. Do you say the same thing? Fine then, just run away from me, you dickhead! The little kid playing in the graveyard was saying something about his face. Uh... That's... random. <laughs> that's like if you ask someone if they bought toothpaste and they're like, No, but I have nice toenails! It's like, what? <laughs> How are those two things related? Uh, but they actually are related! That's supposed to be some kind of a weird hint. Let's go talk to this little boy. He's like, Little kids can't go in the heart pounding grave digging tour described on the sign. Since I can't do that, I'm just imitating Dompe the Gravekeeper all day. With my cute face, I'm not heart pounding at all, am I? Yeah, so that's his hint. That's who he wants. And look, he kind of walks away, Dompe does too. Apparently, this guy actually points to where you're supposed to dig. Is he going to do that right here? He does not. Hmm. They just stomped though, I don't know. Is it cause I- Oh, it's cause I was in his way, I gotcha. Alright, let's put the mask on and talk to him. Yeah! It's Dampe the Gravekeeper! That's rude! Dampe is not a Gravekeeper! Huh? Oh, just a mask. I got a different kind of fright from that mask I get from Dampe. Then I got from Dampe. Do you give that mask to me? With that mask, I'll be just like Dampe! Here's my money! You sold their 30 rupee mask to a kid for full price? I didn't mind paying at all. Let's go back to the mask shop. And pay their look at that mask. <laughs> that doesn't look scary, man. He just looks. It looks kind of cool, to be honest. But it's way too big for his face. I'm gonna dig and dig, just like Dompe. An aspiring gravekeeper. Interesting. Learning to each their own, I guess. Okay. Hi. I'm back for some more. Let's play some. Not, okay, um, <clears throat> sorry, that was really obnoxious. So, so far, let's take a look at what we've gotten for masks. We sold the Keaton mask, we bought it for 10 rupees, we sold it for 15 rupees, so that's a profit of 5. Skull mask, we lost 10 rupees on, I believe. And then the, the, blah, 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 the redead mask we just sold, the wooden mask or spooky mask or whatever. We just made no money, no profit, no, but we didn't lose anything either. Oh great, you sold it. Please pay back 30 rupees for the spooky mask now. Payment received. And this is our last mask, the bunny hood. 50 rupees with, s with swinging rabbit ears. <laughs> do you want to borrow the bunny hood? Heck yes I do! Um, bunny hood! Yay! Now, who the heck might want this, you might be asking. Hmm. Although I do want to quickly say, like, we haven't ma really made anything. I think, like, in total so far, we have a net profit of negative 15 rupees or something like that. So, <laughs> she might not be that. It might be just negative 5 rupees. But, this mask actually makes it completely worth it. Because, using it... Gets you lots of monies. Technically, infinite amount of monies. Well, not really infinite. A maximum of... Well, we'll see in a second, really. Uh, but I guess this did work out as an episode, because we're at 20 minutes now. 20 minutes, 22 seconds, my timer says. <laughs> Is it correct with the video? It might not be. I'm not really entirely sure, to be honest. Probably not. Um, 
So, who is the aspiring furry we've seen running around here once or twice before? It was actually only once. Well, hopefully we'll see him in a moment. Maybe we'll get lucky, maybe we won't. He runs around Lon Lon Ranch, and at night he actually just kind of chills out like a true bro. It's like, yo, bro on! I'm son of Boku! Dragon Ball Z jokes, I'm full of them. Ah, <laughs> uh, I need to go to bed. <laughs> oh, there's a fence here. Okay, so- WHOA! Holy crap, that thing has a giant freaking- Those things are terrifying, by the way. And then just go back to sleep. He go beddy bye. Oh, here he is! Is he gonna stop? Oh, no! That's exactly the opposite of what I wanted to do! I thought he stopped running at night. No, 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 no! Can I talk to you, sir? Oh, okay, no, he just- he just stopped. In old times, I heard there are many wild rabbits in the land of Hyrule. Not anymore, though, because of excessive hunting. Only become a rabbit. Listen to the wind with those ears. Hop across the ground with those, la those little legs. Even if I can only pretend. Okay, well, buddy. Good thing for you. I have the ability to make you into a rabbit. Not really. I just have the ears. Like, this guy loves rabbits, so shouldn't he actually probably be offended if I give him these ears? Because, like, this was made from at rabbits, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> so just taunting the fact that, you know, they're kind of extinct now in Hyrule, apparently. <gasps> I bet with those long ears, you can hear the voices. What? Oh, those are general and rabbit ears from the animal of legend. I don't care how expensive it is. Please sell it to me. No. That's not the answer I wanted to hear! <laughs> okay, sure. My long dying dream! Returning to the wildlife! Finally, the actor, the stage, and prop have been united! It's a 50 ruby mask, but he paid you a crazy amount of money for it! Man, more money than you can count! Okay. <laughs> Go back to the mask shop and pay back just 50 rupees for the money. Uh, how much money am I getting here? Oh, the rabbit ears cover his eyes, too. That's cool. I bet nobody's faster than I am now. <laughs> but I don't know if I should be happy or sad. Look at that. Actually, looks kind of creepy, to be honest. Listen. Oh, no. I just want I want to get up. Just look at that. That's so creepy. <laughs> Dude, seriously. I'm trying to get a good look at Mr. Guy over here. That's actually really freaking creepy, not gonna lie. It covers his eyes. I don't think it covered my eyes, did it? Okay, let's go back to Hyrule Castle Town. One second. Okay, since I didn't actually explain it, um, what selling the rabbit mask does is it gives you... It fills up your wallet, pretty much. So, I guess a maximum of 500 rupees if you talk to him when you have zero rupees. Because that this wallet is actually the biggest wallet you get in the game. So, you can only hold a maximum of 500 poopies. But anyways, here we go. Oh, great. You sold it. Please pay me back 50 rupees for the bunny hood now. Oh, yeah. Very well done. All the masks are sold up. No, they're not. They're right beside you. I knew I could trust you. As a reward, I will lend you this special mask. This is the Mask of Truth. It is a mysterious mask passed down by the Sheikah. With this mask, you can see into other people's minds. It's useful, but scary. Why is it scary? You may find out as you grow older and discover the true meaning of life. Is it sex? Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas, you fucker. <laughs> Why is that? I apologize. Show it to many people. Whoa! From now on, you can borrow any mask you want. Just have faith. So by any mask I want, I could either be a cross dresser or... Um... Zora oh, there's a Gorn mask as well. How come there's not here? Temporarily, I'll stock an item. Huh, I don't know if that ever does anything for me. Like, I don't know, gives me any... If a mask ever goes in stock, then holy crap. Anyways, this is the freaking Mask of Truth. I don't actually know if talking to people with it on does anything. Did they just say the same thing? Yeah, what's the problem? Screw you, lady, I hate you. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, my name's Grace. In the next episode, we will continue on with the storyline. Also show you what the Mask of Truth does. It did mention that they're passed down from the Sheikah, and there are Sheikah stones. Hmm, are those related? They totally are. Okay, see you guys later, bye!